Hey everyone, we are pleased to have you back here at the Coins Alert, your place to get your cryptocurrency fix. I will be your host. I really hope that you have a wonderful day again. The day is Wednesday. We are currently in the middle of the week. In around five hours, I will be entering the first day of my vacation. What exactly does that say? For the most part, from Thursday to Sunday, there are no videos on YouTube. I don't have anything to do and there is no clock talk. I'm going to be attending a bachelor party in Austin, Texas as soon as I can. As the following few days progress, I will be having the time of my life. Not having any obligations, there is no work. It is likely that I will. A short break from social media as well, and I will return on Monday to participate in the launch of the coin. Pleasant and revitalizing. Oh, I can't wait. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to miss producing these films every morning, but I'm looking forward to it because it will be a great little break and a wonderful little breather during this time. I am not in the least bit disturbed by that in this episode. It seems like there is a lot going on out there, not? We are going to discuss the Ripple Smart Contract. For XRP, Zhao Hooks, we are going to discuss the win that John Deaton achieved. We are going to get everything done. So without further ado, let's leap into a Bitcoin. Polygon is about to undergo a migration, and there is a lot of information to unpack after that. $56,563, the entire market is experiencing a decline in value. There has been a decrease of 4.28% over the course of the last 24 hours. The current price of Ethereum is 2,395. This is a decrease of 4.49%. It's XRP and both USDT and USDC are coming in at their own dollar pegs, to be sure. I'm sorry, folks, but it's just 55 cents, which is virtually two for a dollar. Despite the fact that the overall market cap of cryptocurrencies has decreased by 3.25%, it is still hovering around 2 trillion, which is precisely where we want it to be at 2 trillion and 1 billion. I am aware of what I am doing. I'm going to buy, look, I am familiar with the future of the markets and how this situation will play out. The month of September is typically a red month, as we warned you. It is the beginning of September, after all. There is no doubt that we are able to reverse this trend and make it green. This is a buying opportunity that is based on the dollar cost average. Today, I will be purchasing a significant amount of XRP. In fact, I am keeping an eye on HBAR. Since around the year 2020, I have not. Purchased any HBAR. A wonderful addition to the bag would be to include it. Despite the fact that I am not happy about it, this is what occurs when you haven't purchased anything in four more years, owing to the fact that we have been experiencing a bad market. It is time to act now. At this point, I am able to acquire a lot of HBAR pretty much flat. This is my DCA in a one swift motion. As a result, I am aware of it. For the time being, it has not been completed. Nevertheless, I will let you know if I do it. As you are aware, TLN, LuxLions token, will be used for all ecosystems, for all of the games that we are releasing, for the metaverse, for the minting platform, for staking, and for everything else you can think of. The date of the listing is tomorrow, Monday, September 9th. And this is exactly what you want to acquire right now, the Founders Edition, because there are relatively few left. Yeah, I do comprehend it. You see that price and immediately go into a panic, but I want you to give me a chance to explain. In comparison to someone who does not have any, you are awarded 15 points on the deluxe list, which results in you receiving 15 times more XRP back. A minimalist entity, a piece of land in the metaverse, and a founder's entity are also included in your ownership. You also receive 100,000 bronze tokens, each of which has a schedule for unlocking it, as of right now. The token is trading at 3 cents, which means that 100,000 tokens are going to be worth $3,000. What are the chances that the token will be worth $3,000? I'm not sure, but given that this is the launch that is both fair and straightforward, I don't know. Token is not owned by anyone. The price of three cents will not be offered by anyone. This is the only direction I can see this thing heading. On the other hand, if there is no sell pressure and something is released and no one has access to it, then that is what I understand from the principles of simple physics. They can only purchase that the price must go up in order for them to pay for themselves, but this offer is only valid until Sunday the 8th because the token will become operational on the 9th, it is going to be in your best interest to grab them. Our XRP credit card is accepted by the system. John Deaton, some breaking news he was victorious in Massachusetts. By no means was it even close. Although he desired a landslide victory, he did not even receive a significant number of votes from the state of Massachusetts. Take note of this. In what form was it? Votes totaling 8,000 or 9,000. What a crazy idea. John is doing well. This is incomprehensibly incredible. Please watch his video. This is the small victory walk, so take a look at it. In one instance, he even performs a small victory dance. Without a doubt, it is going to play. We will get it when it has provided a little bit of a buffer and a little bit of a buff. 
We might need a small refresh. Let's see, hold on. Little technical issues. The refresh always does the trick though. Here it is. Congratulations, he will be taking on Elizabeth Warren. I cannot wait for that debate to see what John's gonna deliver. Look, this is big for the entire crypto field. We need people like John to be in government or to at least get to that debate so they can start to open other people's eyes on what is going on in the current environment of the US. Congrats to John Dean on this polygon. There will be transitioning from their Matic token to Poly tokens polygon. The second largest layer two network established on the Ethereum blockchain has announced today that it would be launching a substantial update to the long-standing Matic token, which will migrate to PalPol coins. Currently ranked as the 28th largest cryptocurrency, Matic has a robust market presence, which has contributed to its market value of 3.6 billions of dollars. A significant number of cryptocurrency investors will thus be directly impacted by the transfer. You had better figure out what you need to do in order to get to the new tokens if you find yourself in possession of Matic. All of this is included in the Polygon 2.0 update. Poly is a hyper-productive token that may be utilized to deliver values and useful services to any chain, by any chain persons that are significant in the Polygon network, according to what is stated in the document. The age layer itself is included in this. The knowledge that the network possesses a native token that is future-proof and capable of securing and supporting its growth is a source of satisfaction for the community as it works towards the realization of this exciting vision. In the present moment, the price of Polygon is a little less than 40 cents, coming in AT.389. Those of you who are keeping track at home will find that it is 38 cents. The most important news has arrived, as you are aware. Ripple has announced that it would be adding smart contracts onto the FXRP ledger. This news was released yesterday. It would be safe to assume that Wynn took his time, and I would recommend that you read it and write this little blog post on his feelings regarding this matter. So, I'm going to share my thoughts with you about it. I have no ill will against anyone. Not a single person has my ire. It's simply that, to tell you the truth, I don't comprehend the current circumstance. In the beginning, Ripple stated that they were not interested in smart contracts. When Wynn went out, Ripple assisted him, provided him with funding, and he constructed hooks, we would say that he went out to add to the Zhao network that he already possesses. Through the sale of his Zhao token, they were able to generate revenue, as is to be expected. After receiving funds from Ripple, they created this item from the ground up. As a result, I am unsure whether he is irritated because this is now competition from Ripple or whether he is angry that Ripple shifted their focus, but competition is a really healthy thing. If you are the only one doing anything in the crypto space, it is highly likely that you do not have a good use case. This is due to the fact that if you had a use case that could address an issue in which that might add functionality, then other people would do it. If he is concerned about the level of competitiveness in this situation, then that is a healthy concern. Ripple is not going to take the entire market share, and it could have been other companies that could have stepped in, and that we are going to grow. Look, even if he is going up against a giant, Ripple is not going to take the entire market share. It is clear that you are familiar with the Layer 2 Smart Contract Hooks feature. That Ripple went back to the drawing board in this situation is something that I believe is extremely healthy. I sent out this tweet, and I mean, this is not even close to being a joke, is it? You should pay great attention to this. At first, Ripple did not grant permission for smart contracts. People screamed and kicked around in response to this. They went completely insane. It is a memory of mine. A load of bullshit? It is not Ripple's intention to engage in smart contracts. This is ridiculous. They are not releasing the ledger completely. Blah blah and no blah. Ripple went back to the drawing board, and as a result of 